Hello everybody, I'm Darius Deacon and this, as you can probably tell, is a let's play of Condemned Criminal Origins. I've been wanting to do this game for quite a while actually because this is a, a very personal favourite of mine because it has a, a lot of different subjects in it that I like. But before we get to that, there's a bit of housekeeping. Uh, let's just start that. Um, I'm doing this, the, the let's play thing. Just as a stopgap, because the reviews are kind of slow at the moment, because I'm quite busy until the end of March. Uh, but don't worry, none of this stuff is taking attention away from doing the reviews. They will be coming along. I can't say when. Everything's a bit hectic at the moment. But this is something to do, something that's kind of easy to do, kind of fun. You know, just something to put on the channel until you know things get a little less hectic that's that's all it is so let's give it a go this should be interesting because like i said this is a this is a game from the very 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 early days of the xbox 360 i believe it was a launch title i think and i played the shit out of this i love this game uh, it's it's very it's it's a linear game Linear storytelling kind of game, not a bad thing. It's very good, um, and it does a lot of things that are very interesting because it's it's heavily melee combat kind of stuff. And yeah, so I and I pretty much know this game inside and out. Did this? It was this game and Clive Barker's Jericho, which is something I've already let's played on this channel, that I played the shit out of, and I know pretty much inside and out. The difference there, though, is that with this. I haven't played this in quite a few years, so I might be a little bit rusty. Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. But yes, it should be interesting because, yeah, like I said, this is not a blind let's play. I know a lot of what's going to happen. People are scared. We need to get this one. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be surprised because I don't remember everything. I think that's police cliche number two. Come on, let's go. Body's rotten as we speak. He's a charming man. Someone on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. That city's called with sick killers. Yes, like he said, we are an FBI serial killer profiler on the hunt for the matchmaker. The serial killer. Um and yeah, if you know me. Serial killer is kind of a, an interesting dumps. subject of mine. Can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? So this game was pretty much tailor-made for me because it's a lot of interesting stuff about criminology, and you know, obviously it's game stuff and everything like that. But it's it's very creepy. It's very dark. It is a horror game, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah. And it does actually, it is actually quite effective. Uh, when we get to some of the later stages, it should be pretty effective at creeping me the fuck out. Because it, it, it always did creep me out, this game. Hopefully, it's been a bit, you know, kind to me over the years. And it's reduced its creep factor. Because, you know, games have moved on. But, I think this is pretty good. Wow, look at that. That's actually an effective torch. How many effective torches do you see in a game? Let's just have a quick look. I don't think I've ever been in here. But yes, this is this is a... Like I said, it's a very creepy game. It's very fun. Um, trying to think. That's me. Also, Thomas, this is Officer Becca. Found the I liked your TV show. Agent. Um, so what's weird about this game as well is that you'll notice that the uh, uh, the character models are all kind of barrel chested. Everyone's barrel chested for some reason, even the women. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a bit odd the way they've kind of um, modelled everyone in a very similar thing. Oh Christ! Wow. Thomas. That was creepy as hell. <laughs> yes. And there will be our dead body. Don't 
doesn't look like a dead body. Kind of looks fake. Like him over there. The system. Apparently the system is me digging into my pockets. Uh, I need to figure out the goddamn controls. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't really know the controls, but yeah. Right, so we have... There we go. Let's take a picture of the... This is the coolest part of this game. Uh, the actual investigations of the murders. It's very interesting. Not enough of them, in my opinion. A lot of it's kind of faux sci-fi, not real forensics. But it's interesting. Oh, God. Yes, apparently that was some kind of vision. Our character, Ethan Thomas, is very... Uh, I think the best way to describe him is Will Graham-like. Uh, and now we need to look at the thing's face. Oh, thank you, yes. Darkness, it's always good, this. to zoom in to take a picture. It's very floaty. I'm u look if if I I'm just trying to use my um mouse. It's very floaty when the moving that. It basically what I mean is oh shit. Press the wrong button. It doesn't really allow you to fail very often, but it's interesting. There we go. Same MO as the others? It's the work of a guy we've been calling the matchmaker. Kills young women violently, poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. This is the game that taught me the word tableau. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. What's with these? Why is nobody mentioning these? These are fucking creeping me out. And the eyes as well, the eyes. It's all very creepy. That bloody music is not conducive to uh, calm temperament. A lot of this is uh, guided at the moment. Smell the cigarette smoke. Yes, it can be here. If anywhere. No. He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth we have a start. gun. Potential homicide suspect still in building. Ooh, shifty eye. Officers are on their way. ETA, 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Okay. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becker, secure yes, the Yes, let's Thomas, split up the instead. Building. Get these lights back on. <sighs> character does talk, by the way. He just doesn't seem to talk at the beginning. All clear, Agent. The sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Right here. It's not exactly the, the most Christ crack sake, team, really, careful. is it? Oh. Don't zoom in on his face, it just emphasizes the very old game. Whoa. Well, that was a short amount of time with the gun. Thank you. Uh-oh. There's no aim down sights. 
this was a game way Federal before. Agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. Fuck you! This is charming. Well, that, that sorted that. Nobody's gonna... Yes, it's 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 a game about beating up and or killing homeless people. I think this game was made by the Tories. <laughs> okay, that was a surprisingly effective bullet. Wow, I didn't even know that was going to work. Yeah, because we can't we can't reload. Um, we have seven bullets. That's literally all we have. Fortunately, I'm not using a controller, so I shouldn't be missing as much as I remember missing. We should be able to take that pipe eventually. But yeah, we can check how many bullets we have, but that's it. Uh, Ethan Thomas is completely incapable of picking up ammo, so this gun is essentially completely useless. I mean, it's it. He literally just resorts to smacking people over the head with it when you run out of ammo. So, not the best when it comes to um, a firefight. But we shouldn't be. There, there, there's not really much in the way of firefighting because, like I said, majority of the game. We pick up these metal plates as well. I'm sure you'd like to know what those metal plates are for. I have no idea. I can't quite recall. I'm sure it has something to do with it in the lore, but never mind. I swear I was saying something then. I'm completely lost track of my thoughts. Ain't gonna lie. Kinda creepy. Oh, heck. That's gonna take some getting used to. Shit. Yep. We've started. Where the f Oh, hello. I can't see you at all. Where did he go? There he is. Boom. Fortunately, they're pretty slow and easy to hit. Yes, I don't need a health kit. Ha ha ha. You underestimate me. It's never good. Never good when a game tells you how to run. I can't open all of them. I remember, ooh. Right, there's at least one of them about. The key I found, and this is from many, 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 many years of playing this game. The key to getting these guys is you let them come out of hiding because if you attack them, the majority of the time, they will run off. Wow. Jesus. Yes, he's the one that deactivated the fuse box. You might see similarities to Outlast. I kind of see similarities to Outlast if I'm honest. And if I remember correctly, if I pull this, things are going to go very badly. I wonder if I can go back. Because... I, oh, no. Because mm, I remember we... There was one guy back there who we left alive. I would rather kill him first then deal with that for reasons that will become clear soon what the fuck don't do that Jesus okay these are quite squirrely bastards never mind like I said I, I know the major beats of this game but I can't recall everything Let's just close that door I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of freaked out. <laughs> Even though I played the game to death. It still freaks me out. 
Anyway, this is where we lose our gun. Yep. He doesn't. <laughs> no, that was just weird. Yes, he doesn't kill us though. For reasons that will become clear for a very, very long time. But we got ourselves a pipe. And this is this is the main crux of the game. This is where the majority of the combat comes from. Whacking people in the face. The if I'm honest, the um Um I'm trying to think what the hell was the uh Um never mind. But yeah. That's the majority of the combat, and if you played the sequel, Condemned to Bloodshot, which didn't get as well received, but I still love the shit out of it. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's just stuff that in our pockets. Nothing wrong with that. Huh, I don't get that. Oh, here. Seriously, they're just, they're just climbing in between the walls. It's freaking weird. Hearing the sounds around me, it's creeping me out. Oh shit. Wow. Whoa! Jesus! Holy Christ! Fucking hell! Ow. Whew. That, they took me by surprise there, because the fucking dropped from the roof. Oh, do we get to do one of these? Let's try... We're a cop! Could you tell? No! What the... Wah. Okay. Um... That's really fucking creepy. Hello? Yes, I think I remember that. I thought it happened a bit later on. Something like that. But yeah, I can't quite recall. More metal pieces. Always good. See, this is where the, the, the difficulty kind of ramps up. Because... They start assaulting you from all angles, and it's not—it's not a—it's not, not a forgiving system. The the system is very much stacked against you when it comes to fighting bad guys. And yeah, this is just a bizarre mini game to find these birds. It never really explains why we are picking up these dead birds. I mean, it, it explains why the birds are dead. I, actually, I think the sequel explains why the birds are dead, but it doesn't really explain why we would pick them up, just stuff them in our jacket. It's weird. I can hear them. The way I've done this as well, I've got um, the the sound effects are higher in the sound. So I hope that's not too annoying. But the sound effects are higher in the sound um, files, not files. The sound. Fucking options, that's the word. Because it's very uh, easy to hear the different assailants. Yeah, I've got the, the sound effects higher than the music and the speech. And yes, we need a fire axe for that door, weirdly. It's faster, but rubbish. Yep. Somehow he can just assess different items. Oh, I love this. You can't see it now. That That's a TV, right? Uh, when this, this first came out, they're, they're, they're little collectibles. You go up to them, you, you, you press E, or you press Use, and you turn them off. In the original Xbox version, there was actually 360s connected to the TVs, which was actually kind of fun. It was bizarre. Why are there 360s in this fucking shithole? 
Hello. Explosion. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just a fuse box. He speaks. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. What? How the hell did that happen? Here. Take this fire axe and chop your way out. Yeah, just chuck it at me. Fucking hell. Yes, we just lost that. things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Jesus, that's slow. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. If you find yourself in a sticky situation, use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, you'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon. Yes. Mouse button two, or the middle mouse button, to uh, buy the taser, which I will remember. But I want to get rid of this fire axe. The fire axe has got a lot of damage, but this is its primary use. And yeah, there was a little 360 right there. And yeah, it's just literally achievement hunting crap. No need, no need for it whatsoever. I'm just gonna bash down this door and then get that pipe back because I like that pipe. There's a few weapons I rem I recall quite enjoying. The dude just chucked a chair at me, and now he's hiding like a dumbass again. Give me the map pipe. And yeah, there's no weapon degradation either, which is good. Because you'd expect there to be weapon degradation, but no. You just lose it whenever the plot requires it. Hello. Ow, you bastard. They're very crafty, some of them. If you look, they'll actually move with the hit, as you saw. Ow. They've got a fucking lot of range, too. Come on. Again, we're a cop. <laughs> it makes no sense. He just he just flat out brutalizes and murders these people. We we're, we're chasing serial killers and we kill more people than any of them. I just find that funny. Nothing. Ooh. I know there's one of the I have to be vigilant. Uh, oh, it's the exact same. Never mind. Oh, yeah, there's a block there. It's only a temporary block. You press it, and it, it does that. It doesn't. It's not a hold. So you actually have to time it right. So they actually put quite a lot of thought into the fighting system, which I like. Oh, yeah, this is where they teach you about the stats. Uh, less damage, more speed, more block, less reach. I like reach though. Reach is reach is important because, as you can see, they um, it doesn't really care. <laughs> they just swing it at you, and they'll hit you with it regardless. So reach is kind of important for us. For them, they don't care. They don't mind. They'll they'll hit you regardless. Very rarely do they not hit you unless you know you're really out of range. <laughs> Oh yeah, perfect hiding place. Yeah, you, you're great. Oh, son of a bitch! Run, 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 run. See, they're, they're crafty buggers. They're really crafty buggers, actually. They will try and uh, get behind you. Ow. See, I would argue I was well out of his range there. Get out of it. Get, get down, you bastard. <laughs> There's this true anger in his voice there. He's really not happy with these fuckers. But that guy's fucked up. Jesus. He's just got his face sliced up. It's just nasty. He's got a fresh one. Don't need one, but it's good to have one. Oh, sledgehammer. Yeah, look how slow that is, though. That's awful. I'll leave the sledgehammer there. I might need it, though. Because 
Um, you have certain weapons that are key weapons. Also, these eyes are tips to find the metal pieces. I don't know why. They just are. Uh, yeah, you have a fire axe, a sledgehammer, and I can't quite recall what the other one is, but there's three different weapons to um, essentially key weapons to unlock certain doors. It's a bit contrived, I grant you, but that's that's the way it works. Um, so it's good to know where they are. Okay, we're good. Oh, I don't like this room. I recognize this room. Ooh, outside. Also, you might recognize the aesthetic as well because it was made by the same people who did uh, Fear or F E A R. Uh, the rebar is pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, so you you will recognize a lot of different um, notes from Fear. Oh shit! Two of them. All right, bitches, come on. Yeah, you're not getting me that way. Go down, you bastard. That's a little fucker. Sometimes you get the chance to do the finishing moves, but other times you just can't be asked because it just takes time. Oh, but you're talking about fear as well. This, oh, he just, he just threw down his weapon. What an idiot! Oh, shit. Uh, I believe this does take place in the same universe as the Fear games. Although, maybe not Fear... Oh, shit. Ow. I'm getting punched. Ow. How does it feel to be on this end of the gun? But listen, It feels bastard. painful. Don't mess this up for us. What? We are both on the same path of righteousness. Thomas! Well, you say we're on the same path, but you're the one punching me. And the path takes strange turns. Man, they got shit reaction Be ready times. For death, Agent Thomas. It shall come visiting again. Okay. And yes, he chucked us out the window, which apparently we survived. So yeah, that would be the first mission of Condemned. Uh, we shall continue for now. We'll get past the, the uh, initials and then we'll end it. I hope this should be this should be interesting, and it gets a lot freakier too. The the little bits you've seen already, that's nothing. It gets so much freakier and so much better. If I'm honest, this this game goes to weird places, uh, the weird places that I like. So we'll just get this out the way, and then we can move right into episode two. Oh, are they gonna do some kind of freaky mirror shit? Of course they fucking are. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he looks genuinely distressed there. Like I said, goes to some freaky places that I love. Hello, Ethan. Oh, were you just watching me you? sleep? What is going on? Calm yourself. My name is Malcolm Van Horn. I was a great friend of your father's. Uh oh. Yes, I remember you a long time ago, but why are you here now? Last night, well, I was nearby. An unfortunate scene. You did your best, but it could not be helped. The detectives? They're dead. Shot with your weapon. And you will be blamed for their deaths. Let's be honest, this is not as cut and dry as Ridiculous. the game makes it seem. I'll just tell them. What? Tell them the truth? They have already decided the truth. Yeah, like you said. This is insane. I can't just give up the bureau. It's, it's kind of already weird. been taken from you. Now join me and help yourself. It's it's really quite contrived the plot to have you on the run. Damn. It's not the most cut and dry thing I've ever thought. Take head across to the nah. I will meet you later. Agent Thomas, you know you're in there. Open up now. Oh, hello. 
That's something I never noticed before. Ethan, you must trust me. I am here to help. Now go. He likes saying his name, Malcolm Van Horn. Yes, apparently I need a shovel, a shovel to get past this keypad. That is some next level hacking. We have a shovel. The hell was that? But how sharp is this shovel? The answer, apparently quite sharp. That's so weird. Why? That, well, I guess we just found out what the third... Um, the third key weapon is. The shovel. Which we never actually used to dig, if I remember correctly. We never dig up anything with it. Let's just do a quick recon. Nothing. I'm not going to be going out of my way to find all the different things you can pick up. I just pick them up as I see them. Oh. oh, freaky vision shit. I'm not sure how he's supposed to know that, honestly. So, yeah. We have a shovel, and we are on in our search to find several killers because uh, I don't know if you noticed but um, the guy who shot the cops was not the matchmaker which is kind of the whole point of the game but anyway I will leave this episode here and we shall continue this in the next one thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like it does help and subscribe if you haven't again everything helps and I will see you in the next episode bye